Alright folks, welcome back to Goggle 13, or let's play Goggle 13, Mayfet Conspiracy. Merry Christmas again, sorry that I haven't been mentioning that. Also, uh, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, uh, Frilika Van Ochten, uh, have a funky funky um, Kwanzaa. Um, that probably wasn't a very politically correct thing to say, but um, you know, Kwanzaa, man. Enjoy Kwanzaa responsibly if you're a Kwanzaa person. Um, and if, you know, whatever holiday you're into, I hope you're enjoying it. And um, I hope that people will continue to watch this LP later on, and it won't just be that a few people watch this on Christmas and then it's forgotten about. Uh, now, I noticed that when I just kind of stood here against this return of... Oh, now he's actually coming at me. I was just kind of standing around, and he seemed to be ignoring me. It's kind of weird. He appears to be shooting projectiles of some sort. That was bullshit. But this, yeah, this, this is just like Arm of Mayfet all over again. I don't know what you're really supposed to do against this guy. I mean, Nintendo Power recommended just trap him in the corner. And that does work if you get lucky. You get this result. And he's dead now. Hey, the door was marked 13. Pretty cool. Da 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 da. Gogo 13, how is it that you found this place? When I got rid of your man in Paris, he told me that you had escaped. It's strange that you were able to escape. Yeah, I thought so. Da, 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 da. I investigated your background. Your research paper was called Satellite Cross. That report pointed to this location. Precisely. Yeah, it would be nice if we were clued in on this. It seems. I created Mifet. It was my revenge on those who left at my research. Typical mad scientist. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Nobody's going to stop me. America thought Mifet was a secret Soviet organization, and the Soviet thought it was an American. A secret body. Everyone fell into my plan. Soon it will all be over. Yeah, you'll stop using the word Soviet incorrectly. Da, 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 da. And you too. Because you have only five minutes. Wait, what? Huh? Get back. What? I got five minutes? Alright, folks. Well, it looks like I've got five minutes to clear this screen. Now, this is the point at which, when playing this game years ago, consistently, this is where I ran out of lives. Not on that specific jump, really on this one. Oh, which I made on the first try. Okay, so far so good. I'm, uh, never made that jump on the first try before. But, uh, yeah, I like, took me many tries to beat. But we're out of here with no. We've got to do the maze again? Okay, looks like we've got to do the maze backwards. Well, the game has thrown mazes at us that we had to complete quickly before, so this isn't really all that new. Maybe just one floor of the maze? Nope, looks like we'll have to do the entire maze. Okay, no problem. I remember how this floor works now, so we should be good. This floor here is like the easiest one of all. Okay, looking good. Now this... don't remember 100% how this floor worked, but I think... Ah, shit, I messed up. I 
Uh, hold on, I think I got it. On uh, our little right here should be the place with all these doors. Yeah, good. Okay, we're fine. No problem. We're going to get to the end of this maze and we'll be in good shape. We'll have time left. Be fine. I th think. No, shit. I uh, didn't bust the, m the map back out for whatever reason. But we, in a general rule, want to go north. And we end up back here. And I totally screwed up and died. And you end up here. This is where you continue from. You go all the way back. Not that I ever got past, like, playing on the Nintendo Fair and Square... I never got all the way back to going through the maze again. But man, years later playing on an emulator, that was a nasty surprise to find out I had all that to do. Oop. Yeah, this is a problem. Because I used to not know exactly how to do uh, this jump here. I would try to do it from the top. You have to do it from the bottom. And then the same thing again. From here, you've got to do it from the bottom, but you've got even less room to, s to screw up. And I would always think, okay, well, phew, I got past that jump. It's over. I'm going to win. And I think at least once I probably did that on the NES. But, man, it was an ugly surprise when you got to here and had this maze. So let's load state because I cheated. Ha, ha, ha. This is coming out of the maze. This section should be a hell of a lot easier because the enemies were the challenge here, not the jumps. And the enemies are all gone because they're like, what the fuck? Mayfat headquarters is blowing up. That Dr. Barrows guy's a fucking maniac. Let's get out of here. Scooby. And they, you know, ran. So, like, okay, well, this screen's got to be it, right? Like, every screen you come across, you're thinking, this is going to be it, right? This has got to be the end. But then you get to. Another frickin' maze. Oh, this one I don't even have the, m the map out for. Shit. But, oh, you don't go through the maze the same way you did before. You go through a whole different door. Weird. And what's going on here? Farewell, Goggle 13. I am going to escape on a chopper again. That's what I do. Goggle 13's like, I don't think so, motherfucker. Yeah, that... I don't know how you're supposed to know to go through that specific door. Because if you start going further along in the maze, you're totally screwed. But we gotta find him before he gets on that chopper and shoot. And I missed. And the game's over, and you start here. I don't think so. We're not doing that. So you start going through this this maze wrong. You go through the first door you see. If you start going that way, into the maze itself, you're screwed. You're going to wander around until time runs out. No, you got to show up here. And the base blows up, and he thinks you're dead. But apparently you found a door which totally doesn't work. You you, I don't remember what happens if you go... Farewell, Gogo 13. I, bizarre, big headed, druid scientist man, will, you know. He thinks you're dead, so why does he say farewell? Maybe he's wishing your spirit well in the next life. I don't know. But I definitely remember blowing this one because before time ran out, I was like, focus over here. No idea they have to cut down to here. How the fuck? I'm missing that shot like crazy. Uh, let's bring this thing home. Very well, go. Go to 13. I really mean it this time. No, I was like up here like, what's going on? I don't know. You gotta go over here and then... The wind is like straight down. How did that not hit him? Seriously, the game. What do you want from me here? 
is apparently a much harder shot. I can't even figure out what... I mean, how am I not hitting him? How far away am I supposed to be? I would apparently make a pretty crappy assassin. Oh, you gotta hit him right in the head, maybe? I mean, I shot him right in the in the body, and that's not good enough. Farewell, GoGo13. And, uh, don't worry, you get to keep shooting at me forever, apparently. Apparently, I'm just not compensating enough for the wind. I don't know. I mean, I'm shooting for what seems to be right where it's by. Now it's very little wind, so... Oh! How does that not hit him? What the hell's going on here? Yeah, farewell, Goku 13, blah, blah, blah. Do I have to shoot him earlier? I'm seriously befuddled by this. I don't know what's going on. This is not making sense. And ugh, he's okay. He's a leader, Mayfat. I've been hired to to rescue him, but I I don't remember this having been that hard when I played this before. Farewell, Gogo Thirteen. You couldn't have killed me anyway. I'm immune to all bullets. Yeah, see, he gets in the chopper. You lose. So it's not like I'm supposed to wait for the cho chopper to take off and then get him. You have to get him before then. <sighs> Alright. This is really starting to annoy me. Do not get what's going on here at all. Okay, that seriously undermined my badassness that it took me that many tries to kill him. Goggle 13, super badass, with the ability to travel back in time and fix his own mistakes. Finally, the Mayfet was wiped out by the United Nations forces. The satellite capture system had been convert covered up. Act 5, clear. Act 6, epilogue. Where Jesus gets killed on a special Easter holiday edition. Sorry. Uh, who is it? I'm trying to enjoy a nice quiet evening. Duke. Hey, he didn't pull his pants off. Whoa! There's been another security leak. It's James. Ooh, James. He's got the satellite capture documents and is going to defect to the Soviet Union. I don't care. He shot me and ran because he was afraid of being found out. Why aren't you telling the CIA this? Duke, I have one last request. Could you get James for me? He'll be trying to get out of Istanbul Airport. On Aeroflot. Da 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 da. I mean, da 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 da. Please, you're the only one I can ask to do this. I wonder if we'll be flying an illusion or. Get him before he makes it to the plane. Oh. I'll get him. I mean, I'll get him. Thank you. I can't give you a reward, you know. Don't worry, I'll take my reward after you're dead. Because I'm messed up. I'm in debt to you. Thank you, Duke. I wish we could have met under a different game. Ugh, better circumstances. Hey, at least you're like the only chick that he beds in this game. You're not sharing with uh, another. Anyway, folks. I thought the game was over when you defeated that other guy. So when this first time this came up for me, I was kind of pissed because I knew that I was going to be like out of lives, even though I don't think I ever got quite this far without an emulator anyway. Who am I kidding? But yeah, I don't think I ever got to the uh, 
the Hitman attack on uh, Dr. Barrows without an emulator because I never got th through the whole, like, you have five minutes to get out of here se sequence. Do, 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 do. Man, I really don't know what to do with myself without the KGB coming after me. Like, who the hell are these interference cars anyway this time? It's just like the KGB again, because they know that this guy's going to defect, and they don't want to let you stop him. I don't know, but I just... By trying to kill that guy with the grenades, I totally fouled up and got stuck behind him for way too long. And probably blew my chance to win this thing. I mean, I guess I could still do it. Come on, game. I gotta do this for that one chick whose name I keep forgetting. Come on, do it. I didn't do it. I'll let this video go long, because this is going to be it for this LP if I just beat this next challenge. do 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 the Galgo 13 driving mix is playing in the background. Ooh, I suck at these parts. Oh, you can get over 300 scale model miles an hour. Well, kilometers per hour. Well, kilometers are not an American measurement, really, so uh, I can't assume that the H is also an American measurement like ours. It could be some European measurement of time, like hectare or um, Fortnite, spelled with an H. I, I think I'm moving at 235 kilom kilometers per fortnight here. Which would be really fucking slow, actually. <laughs> Fortnite being two weeks, but... Come on, game. Am I doing better or worse than last time? Better, apparently. And here we go. Here's James. He's like, ooh, I've got to go defect to the Soviet Union with Jesse. Now in plain sight of lots of people, Gogo13 pulls out his customized M16. And once again, the nerve shattering thing about this if you were playing on a NES no idea how many continues he had left is just not lining it up in time and he just casually walks on the plane like a douchebag or just not seeing what you're supposed to shoot at until he's already gone but there I don't know why I missed there's a little explosion at the bottom of the screen apparently I didn't compensate enough for the wind or something. It's usually a little bit easier when the wind isn't that extreme. That did appear to fly into his torso somewhere. I never have this much trouble with this when I'm not recording. I'm kind of surprised. I killed Boris on the first try pretty easily. But there's no zoom in feature or anything. You just plain old line up the shot where it's supposed to go. 17 F per second? Feet per second? Fortnites per second? That would be some pretty fast moving Fortnites. And if you uh, miss, by the way, you gotta go to the beginning of the car stage, so forget that. Ooh, I killed that one girl for no really good reason, just because I'm a jerk. Gogo 13 is going to put this game home. I mean, he really has got to, like, soon. There we go. That guy. You have to hit him in the head. And then you win the game. And a man's head explodes in gore in a public place. Merry Christmas, everyone. Game designed by Kanito Ikeda. Assistant game design, Tomoko Mori. 
and other credits too. No, the deal with this uh, ending is I kind of like this ending. It's uh, pretty minimalist. The plot of this game really isn't all that that hot. Uh, there's like a scientist is kidnapped, but it turns out that he was evil all along, and the whole thing is just kind of a bluff. It's not clear what the evil scientist Dr. Barrows actually wants, other than that people laughed at his research, so he's apparently going to kill everyone, and he wants, I don't know, is he trying to turn the Americans and the Soviets against each other? I don't really know. Uh, special thanks to Mr. Shijo. Yeah, I really don't know, and you, oh, thank you, and me, and you, gentle viewer, all of us are getting thanked by this game. Presented by Vic Tokai. Is he going to turn and look? Or is he just going to stand there looking like a badass? He's just going to stand there looking like a badass, folks. But yeah, very short credit sequence. Probably pretty disappointing if you put a lot of time and effort into getting really good at this game so that you could beat it. Like, if you didn't have save states and all that stuff, you just had to get really fucking good at all of those levels. Learn those maze, mazes or write down the maps. The mazes probably would have been the easiest thing for you to get through without losing lives uh, if you really got focused on getting good at this game. But getting like so good at the side-scrolling stages that you never lost lives there, and the only lives you were going to lose were probably occasionally on like the um, driving sequences and the sniper sequences. If you got that good at this game, that was probably a frustrating and disappointing ending. But... If uh, you didn't put a ton of effort into it, I thought that ending was actually pretty cool. Because what I was saying was, don't really understand what the hell was going on with Dr. Barrows. He has like an army of sword-wielding super dudes, or at least two of them. And um, Ahmad Khan, who fights kind of a similar way, just doesn't happen to have a sword. And, you know, Goggle 13, they're, they're, they're sort of, these guys are trying to use Goggle 13 uh, as like a pawn in their little game. And Goggle 13, there's no fucking way he's going to stand for that, so of course he's got to take them all out. But, um, then the, the final tacked-on piece of the game is basically, as I understand it, is how Goggle 13 manga works. You just find out, the Goggle 13 manga series mostly involves finding out about his victims. You find out about some evil dude and the life they've lived and, like, the kind of person they were. And then at the end, Goggle 13 kills them in some kind of, like, super badass sniper shot. And that's kind of how the last part of this game was. You know, this guy was a jerk. He killed one of his comrades. And I used the term comrade kind of ironically because he was defecting to the Soviet Union and killed one of his old CIA comrades. And Goggle 13 takes him out. And the ending is just like this kind of cool music playing over a shot of the guy's dead body. Pretty awesome, minimalist sort of ending. And then Goggle 13 looking all badass. Uh, much shorter game than um, Top Secret Episode was. Much less involved plot. Top Secret Episode had like plot twists and reversals all over the the place. This game had two big ones. Both came right at the end. Dr. Barrows was working for Mayfed all along. What is Goggle 13 pointed out? It never made any fucking sense that he was supposed to be able to escape from Mayfed. I mean, that's like, obviously something was up. And then James betrays his counterparts. Uh, and I could never remember if the guy with the frizzy looking weird hair was James or if the guy with the slicked back hair from the intro was James. I thought it was the guy from the intro, not the other guy. But it doesn't really matter, because none of them had personalities at all. There was, like, the chick that you nail, and then two guys, and one of those two guys turned out to be a traitor. <coughs> I've completely run out of cool things to say, uh, if I ever had any. But we've also completely run out of Goggle 13 games, because that's it for the Goggle 13 franchise in the video game world. And that makes me sad, because, uh, well, this game obviously, uh, was not that great in a lot of ways, and, uh, Top Secret Episode had huge problems. Um, both of them got across the idea that the character you're playing as, regardless of how difficult and frustrating the game itself could be at some times, is pretty much the bat, you know, the most badass motherfucker going on the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Bar none. You tell me a character on the Nintendo Entertainment System you think was Goggle 13, and I will come back and tell you basically that you're completely freaking wrong. Goggle 13 is the man. But he is a man who is, um, doesn't seem like somebody who'd be too into the Yuletide spirit, so, uh, 
I guess uh, you and I, gentle viewer, are going to have to make up for Goggo 13's lack of Christmas cheer and this game's incredibly depressing tone by having ourselves a merry little Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas present. Check out Boba the Vulture's channel. He's got, uh, I think he's putting together as a Christmas presentation something that we recorded together before I left for Afghanistan. Um, so, I'm just blathering on now. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys enjoy... Badass Goggle 13, who is, apparently has huge penis and uh, nerves of steel and just likes to say dot, 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 dot and kill people. Uh, much like uh, our Lord Jesus, who was, of course, born on Christmas Day in the year zero. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little sacrilegious, uh, uh, you know, nonsense that I threw out at the end there. And um, I hope you'll continue watching my LPs. And uh, next year, if Christmas time, if I'm still doing this hobby, hopefully I will have something a little bit more appropriate for you as a Christmas LP. Last year's Christmas LP was uh, all of the alternate storylines from Rumble Roses. So it was like sex. This year's uh, Christmas LP was violence. Next year, who knows? Sex and violence are used up. I might have to do something wholesome. But, uh... We'll see. I can probably avoid that. Anyway, folks, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Best to you and your families and loved ones. Um, and uh, if you don't have family and loved ones to be with, just remember, gentle viewer, you got a place in my heart. Mad Ups, big love. See you next time.